right across the province tonight. The cry, go BC, go. Go BC, Get, go. Getting ready for Sunday. Yeah, and Andrew Harris, you know, he's making headlines every single day, Hudson. I mean, his stock, well, it continues to rise. For his two touchdown performance in last week's Western Final, Andrew Harris has been named top Canadian. I hope the Lions are making up some number 33 jerseys for Grey Cup Sunday because Andrew Harris's fan base is blowing up. He has the fans and the media's attention, but most important, his contributions have earned him the respect of his teammates and his coaches. In the second half of the season, I think he's really grown into his own. Uh, I think I know the guys in this locker room respect him. Uh, the, the coaches have utilized him very, very well. And, you know, right now he is one of our big play guys. He hangs out with the old lineman, watches our film, asks us questions. What are you guys trying to set up here? What is your guys theory in the block so he understands what we're doing? And then he has that patience and then bursts. And a lot of young backs, when they come in the league, they take the ball and take off. Watching film with Travis and maybe Angus and stuff, um, you know, just putting that extra effort into to, to, to know exactly what's happening before it happens. And uh, when, you, when you study football, um, it, it comes easy for me. The NCAA came banging down Wes Myron's door. The Victoria Grizzly sniper is headed to Boston University in the fall. The NHL may not be in the too distant future. <laughs> There he is. Myron may be the happiest young man on skates these days. A gold medal in the Junior A World Hockey Challenge. And despite missing 10 games with Team West, he is still among the top 15 in BCHL scoring. 29 points in 15 games. He is one of the most exciting players in the junior game. Beantown is certainly getting a blue chipper in the Victorian native. Yeah, I think it was it was a good a good good fit for me. Uh, the program there has a lot of uh, a lot of good players coming out of it every year, and uh, I know it's on the other coast, but it felt like home. And uh, yeah, I know Justin Cornell, he's there and he's loving it, and I train with him in the summer, so uh, everything everything just fell into place right there. You know, having a winning season here will be very important to him to finish out and uh, be one of the best players in the league and get drafted. I think that's where you'll see. You know, that's what his goals is, and that's what he should be, and I think you'll see that happen for him. He's a great player to come and watch. Myron hit the score sheet early and often this past weekend. Six points in two games. And thanks to his puck prowess, the Grizz upended the Cowichan Valley Capitals 6-5 Saturday night in Duncan. This Friday, the Grizzlies and Capitals will meet again at Bear Mountain Arena in game one of a home-and-home -home series. We had them on Saturday, and uh, it was a good physical game at the start right through to the finish, and I'm expecting both games this weekend against them, home and home, are going to be just as tough, and uh, it's a good test for us, and it'd be good to gain some ground and beat these guys. Going five start, we've really had to crawl ourselves back in there, so uh, we're pretty happy where we sit right now. Uh, you know, we have to have another big weekend here and get at least one of the two and uh, look to build. we got a good schedule the rest of the way. We've had a tough schedule to start, and the guys are all starting to come to play together and play real well, and, uh, you know, we just uh, got to keep climbing the standings and win the division like we wanted. Well, who says golf is just a summertime game? Definitely not the pros playing on the Vancouver Island Winter Tour. The 10-round event is the brainchild of golf pro Ed Boudreau, and today's third round was being played on his home golf course at Gorge Vale. Some of the island's top golfers were on the course today, including a man who goes by the handle Disco Stew. He's the two-time Canadian Tour champion, Stuart Anderson. He joined the men on the links. Anderson is fresh off a fantastic season on the Canadian Tour and on the brink of breaking into the PGA. Next week is the finals of uh, PGA Tour qualifying school, so I have the opportunity to get my PGA Tour card uh, if I finish in the top 25. Other than that, I'm a member of the Nationwide Tour now, so I have moved on from the Canadian Tour and uh, some of the mini tours I've played, so uh, real excited about that. can support our tour also. Um, wish them all the best in final stage. It, it's pretty exciting, especially having a guy from Souk and, and on the island here, so uh, I think he can do it. He's uh, He's been putting up some great numbers this year, and he's had some fantastic results, a couple good wins, so um, I think he's uh, got a good chance down at uh, PGA West. Well, Stewart finished fourth on the Canadian Tour this season, and he was the top Canadian. He crushes the ball about 290 yards off the tee, but says his irons are the strongest part of his game. He's not too bad with the flat stick either. Here's a putt from about 25 feet, 20 feet into the hole for Eagle on number two. Disco Stew is your nickname. Any dance moves out there on the? Uh, not today, probably. You know, it's a little bit too cold. Maybe if. It... You know, if the birdies come, maybe maybe I'll give it the sprinkler or uh, shopping cart or something out there. Celebration after an eagle? 
Yeah, you'll 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 see. He's uh, he's a different cat out there. He's a lots of fun to be around, and uh, he's definitely not afraid to speak his mind. Do you continue to support these island events? Absolutely. You know, um, I'd like to do the same as Jim Rutledge. Jim's uh, always done a good job of coming back and supporting Victoria and the island tournaments, and uh, I hope to do the same in the future.